<laughs> What's the combination of an orange and a pineapple? I don't know. Nor an apple. Nor an apple. I forgot it. Uh, this guy used to go on the beach every morning and exercise. So he was doing his push-ups. So this guy came around and said, Mr. The Woman Gone. <laughs> <laughs> an orange and a pineapple is a. And somebody told me this. Wait, an orange and a pineapple is. Wait, wait, wait. Is it an orange? Wait, an orange and a pi an orange and a pineapple. This is a story about my friend who was in the Korean War, and his buddy happened to have been in a foxhole. A snake came along and bit him right on his asshole. So now he says, "Man, you've got to get the medic. I've been bitten by this poisonous snake." So the buddy runs up the hill to get the medic. He says, you've got to come down to this foxhole. A snake just bit my buddy in the ass. He said, man, your friend is going to die unless, he says, unless you have to take a knife and cut an X on his asshole and suck the blood out. That's the only way he's going to make it because of the poison. So he runs down the hill and he says, what did the medic say? He said, man, the medic said you're going to die. <laughs> There's this guy, he's out of work. Months, he hasn't worked. Hungry, starving, throughout, r really rasty looking. Comes across the spar and says, help feed it. Remember, he once was a bartender years ago. Goes in, applies for the job, gets it, and the, there's an old man there. And he, and he goes out, and the guy says, okay, you got the job, tonight's your trial period. There's only one thing you have to remember. The only people who come into this, rest of this bar are the guys who work next door at the factory. And all the guys who work next door are deaf and dumb. So when they want whiskey, they'll order thumbs up. When they want beer, they'll order thumbs down. Five o'clock comes around. 500 deaf and dumb people come in and they start ordering whiskey, beer, whiskey, beer, whiskey, beer, whiskey, beer. Into past midnight, two, three, past the curfew, they're drinking whiskey, beer, whiskey, beer, whiskey, beer. Around five o'clock, things are a little quiet. The proprietor says to the new guy, look, you're doing great. I'm going to go in the back, take a half hour nap. Call me if there's any trouble. And they're ordering whiskey, beer, whiskey, beer. And all of a sudden, this drunk at the bar starts going like this. And another joins in, and another, and another. Before you know it, everyone in the place is going. The guy panics, he freaks out, he runs to the back, gets the old man, goes, come out, come out, there's trouble. The old man, shocked, runs out, sees everyone going like this, he goes, oh no, now that they started singing, they'll never leave. <laughs> guy comes home late from work one day, early from work, he finds his wife in bed, completely naked. He sees a couple of martini glasses sitting out. He sees a cigar in the ashtray. He says, where is he? Where is he? I'll kill him. He looks under the bed, looks in the closet. He looks all over the house. He can't find this guy. He's leaning on the wall in the kitchen. He looks out the window, and all of a sudden, he sees a guy running out of the front of the building, putting his coat on. And he lifts up the refrigerator, throws it out the window, nails the guy. He dies of a heart attack himself. Next thing he knows, he's on the pearly, at the pearly gate, sitting on the bench. St. Peter comes in and he brings the book out and he says, uh, what happened to you? Well, my wife was committing adultery. I suspected her of it. I lifted the refrigerator, threw it out the window, had a heart attack and died. Had a heart attack and died. Says the second guy, says, what happened to you? Says, I don't know what happened. I was late for work. I'm running out of the house and all of a sudden this crazy motherfucker throws a refrigerator on me. St. Peter writes, crazy mother throws refrigerator on me. Says the third guy, says, what happened to you? So I don't know, he says, I was sitting in this refrigerator, minding my own business, when all of a sudden... <laughs> an orange and a pineapple is, is... An orange, that's it, an orange apple. Yeah, that's an like orange apple. <laughs> I don't know. Why does the crack in your fanny run horizontal rather than vertical? Why? Because if it ran horizontal, when you went down the banister, it'd go... <laughs> what do you get when you cut a prostitute with a computer? What? I fucking know it all. <laughs> <laughs> what has four arms and eight hands? What? Two uncles. <laughs> well, well, the woman begged her husband to take her on a vacation. So when they finally got up in the mountains and the car ran out of gas and everything, he said, okay, honey, wait right here. Let me see if these people in this cabin got some gas. So he went up there and he looked in one door, but the both people was naked. And so he said he had to go next door. He went to the next place. He said, thank you very much for the gas, sir. 
I'm sorry, but the people next door must be crazy because the man was jerking off and the woman was pulling her tit and pouring water over her head. So he said, no, they're not crazy. He said, they deaf and dumb. She was asking him to go out and milk the cow. He said, fuck you, it's raining. <laughs> I can't understand why all white people think that all black people carry knives. I have never carried a knife in my life. I carry an ice pick. <laughs> the little Indian said to his mother, Mother, how come we have such complicated names and white men have simple names like John and Jim? And the mother said, Well, when a baby is born, we look at the teepee and whatever we see, we name the baby like White Cloud, Running Deer. Does that answer your question, fucking dog? This guy's wife gave birth to a 10-pound head. So on the head's 18th birthday, he brought the head into the bar, put the head on the bar stool, and he said, Bartender, I'd like a drink for my 18-year-old son. So the bartender says, you sure you want to do that? He says, yep. So he gives him a scotch. Drinks the scotch, all of a sudden, an arm pops out, another arm, a leg, a leg. Gives him another drink, right? <laughs> he automatically grew a nose, all right? So then he asked for another drink. And the father gave it to the head, and the head died. So he asked the bartender, what happened? He said, you should have quit while he was ahead. <laughs> I was in bed last night with my boyfriend, Ernie, and Ernie said to me, So, you've got no tits and a tight box. And I said to Ernie, Get off my back. <laughs> That's it. Why do they uh, bury Pollocks with their asses sticking up out of the ground? So when their relatives come to visit, they have a place to park their bicycle. You're not going to believe this. This is really a true story. Last week, I was working in my garden, then I'm out in Long Island. Today I'm in the city because I have to go to my office. So I'm working out in my garden, fixing the garden. Of course, being of the Jewish persuasion, you don't go out in the garden like a bum. You go out with nice gloves on, fancy clothes, nice tie, fixing it up very nice. All of a sudden, a rocket ship is over my head. I couldn't believe this. I turned around, I looked up, I see a guy coming out of the rocket ship, comes down on the ladder, comes over, he looks at me. I look at him, I couldn't believe what I saw. He was wearing green clothes, had green skin and diamonds all over the place. He had a big diamond right over here. So I turned around, I looked at him. I said, what are you, from outer space? And he says to me, affirmative. So I said to him, does everybody on your planet, do they wear green clothes? And he turns around and looks at me and says, affirmative. So I look at him again, I said, I want to ask you one question. That skin, beautiful. I wish I had that from this season, from that color in my line. And I says, does everybody have that color skin? And he says, affirmative. I said, one question I want to ask you. I can't believe this. Does everybody on your planet have all those diamonds all over them, especially that big diamond in the middle? He says, not the guy in... <laughs> <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood's walking through the woods. All of a sudden, a big bad wolf jumps out and goes, Oh, I'm gonna eat you. She goes, eat, eat, eat. Doesn't anybody fuck anymore? What if one horny frog say the other horny frog? Rub it, rub it. 28th floor of an apartment building in Manhattan. There's a big fire, flames leaping out. There's a lady hanging out the window with her baby. She's screaming, my baby, my baby, save my baby. And the crowd shouting down, lady, throw it down, throw it down. She says, I can't, I can't, I don't trust you, I don't trust you. They say, throw it down, lady, throw it down. Flames get bigger, flames get bigger. Along comes Wee Willie Wee Wilson, right wide receiver for the New York Jets. Lady screaming, my baby, my baby, save my baby. She says, hey, lady, it's me, Wee Willie Wilson, wide receiver for the New York Jets. Throw the baby down, throw the baby down. She says, Wee Willie Wilson, wide receiver for the New York Jets. I trust you. I trust you. Whoosh, throws the baby out the window. Big wind comes up. Baby starts sailing to the left. left Wee Willie's wife right under there. Starts sailing to the right, and Wee Willie's right under there. The crowd starts screaming, Wee Willie, Wee Willie, Wee Willie, Wee Willie. They get real excited. Finally, Wee Willie jumps up, catches the baby with one hand. Incredible catch. The crowd goes berserk. Wee Willie, Wee Willie, Wee Willie goes, all right! 